Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Oscar. I'm the Gaming Animation Solutions Specialist at Toonboob, and I'm here to show you today some of the gaming features that are coming to Harmony. So Harmony supports two different types of pipelines. It supports rigged animation and it supports frame by frame animation. Now what's rigged animation? Rigged animation is when you have a character made up of different pieces, or in this case, because it's gaming, you have game bones and so you make a rig out of it so that you can economize on drawing uh, and you don't have to keep drawing things over and over again. So that's what we, also what we call puppet animation. And then we also do frame by frame animation, which is what it sounds like. It's like drawing frames by frame and then just like what you would do traditionally. Um, so when you do, let's say like an export for gaming, you would get a sprite sheet like this that has the characters, poses, the entire sequence basically mapped out onto one page. Now this one only shows a few of the poses because the sprite sheets can be pretty huge whenever you have a really long uh, set of animations. But in this case we have, you know, slide this little character right here, you just got a bunch of poses of him. Uh, so that's, if you were gonna do frame by frame animation, that's what you'd be getting. You'd get a sprite sheet sequence like that. And then if you're doing 2D rigged puppet animation, what you get is an exploded view of all the character's parts. Now here you got like his head, you've got his eyes, you've got his sleeves. Um, here you also got a lot of his tails, which is something that I'll explain later on because it has to do with baking. Because one of the things that uh, we have with Harmony is that you can bake animation if you're gonna use more complex features beyond the game bones, which are just a deformer. So I'm gonna to talk to you about some of the tools that you have available in Harmony to create your animation or your drawings or whatever you want. So we have everything from like bitmap brushes, we have vector brushes as well. Vector brushes are great, of course, for doing some cleanup work. Um, also one of the things that's new in Harmony 22 is that now when you draw textures, uh, sorry, you use the pencil and it has a texture on it, the texture updates right away before you wouldn't see the texture appear. Now you can actually see it so you don't have to guess what it's gonna look like. If you also wanna bring artwork in from another paint program, like say you have a PSD, we can also bring those in, we can import those uh, like so. And then when you bring it in, you can see all the layers that make up that PSD are brought in as well. And so everything's individually separated and you have access to every part of that character that you created. Now, if you wanna do some ink and paint too, we have those tools as well. And those tools are pretty awesome. Like if you want to just fill in one section of color, you can. If you wanna go and fill over multiple frames, actually one of the things you can do too that's super neat is that you can actually turn on the onion skin and at the onion skin, you can project a path, draw a path, sorry, of all the parts you want to fill in, and it'll fill in and across those frames, which is pretty neat as well. Now, if you also want to be more, uh, if you want something handy uh, to help you pick the colors for your character, you can also use the reference view, which is something pretty neat as well. So you can load up your color model. When you load up your color model in the reference view, you can actually use an eyedropper to quickly select the colors that you want. So then you can just go in and fill in whatever piece you need to and it really saves time when you're trying to paint a character when you can just color pick off the, the, the one image that you've got. And so those are, one of the, those are some of the really great tools that you have for inking and painting.